Good evening. I've known Clarence Gilliard for over 25 years. We met on Walker, Texas Ranger, and we spent six and a half years together on that show. Me as the producer and Clarence as one of the stars. Uh, not only did we become very good friends very rapidly, but I had the opportunity to also direct Clarence in my first episode of network television. And directing Clarence is not something you really have to do because Clarence was so talented at what he did as an actor. And he was so dedicated to his craft as an actor that if I was setting up a shot for a scene and Clarence came over as I was setting that shot up and then we would rehearse it, he would come to me in his diplomatic way and say, do you really like that shot? And, and of course, uh, he would give a suggestion on how to maybe shoot it this way instead of that way. And that was Clarence in his diplomatic way trying to make every scene in every episode the best that it possibly can be. That's the type of talented actor that Clarence always was. Um, after Walker, I went on to do other shows Clarence went on to do other shows, but Clarence also added to his resume professor here at UNLV. And he was as dedicated as a professor to the students that he taught as he was as an actor. He spent the time with the students, passing on the knowledge that he had in his craft and his career to them every day, every week, every month, every year. Dedicated to those students, just like dedicated to Hollywood. When Clarence passed away, there was notifications in the Hollywood Reporter, Variety, and this Hollywood magazine um, called Deadline Hollywood, of which I, I, I go through every, every day just to keep track of what's going on in the business, uh, no matter where I am in the world. The amount of outpouring of love, caring, and passion, hearing of Clarence passing was remarkable for me to, to witness. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that never met Clarence, but only had a relationship with him through television or films that he had done. The comments were nothing but what I just mentioned, love and caring to this man who gave his life to this industry and ultimately to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Um, we will miss Clarence without saying so much. The students will miss him every day. The faculty will miss him every day. I will miss him every day. I've been so blessed to have the privilege of not just knowing Clarence, but being his friend. And because of our friendship over the years that really reconnected in the last several years, he asked me to come on a regular basis and speak to the students in his class, which I am going to do again tomorrow with my daughter who's a, a stunt woman that's here with me tonight. But that is also the type of guy that Clarence is. He wanted to bring the people that he knew within the industry to this university to help pass on the knowledge that we've all got achieved and accomplished in this business. And it's been very re rewarding for me. And, and the relationship with Clarence and I has been remarkably rewarding and heartfelt. So I just want to say second, there's only, only second to his family, a, dis, a distance, a close second, excuse me, a close second to his family is this university. His, his dedication to God and to Elena, his wife, 
and to his boys is also what he stands for. And I'm very proud and thankful and blessed to have called him my friend. So thank you.